Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Ewan McQuaid and the Royal Rumble is over. My quick thoughts on the show are I thought I, it was okay. I didn't like the Rumbles as much as everyone else, particularly one of the winners I was a bit down on, but overall I thought it was an okay show and I think it leaves a lot of ground to be covered between the Royal Rumble and WrestleMania. So this is what my video is. It is a predictions video following the Royal Rumble. I'm going to predict every single title match. I think every single title match. Because there's so many goddamn titles on the main roster for WrestleMania. So starting with the Women's Tag Team Championship. Now current title holders Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler I think I keep forgetting I keep forgetting these belts exist I had to google it I'm not really bothered about these to be honest I don't think they've been given the care that they deserve I think it will be Shayna and Nia against oh it could be anyone could be anyone, but I'm going to go with Naomi and Lana. That is a massive waste of Naomi, who's just come back. But I think it's the only direction they're planning on going on Raw, to be honest. So yeah, a bit down on that one. However, moving on to a division that's so much better, the SmackDown Tag Division. Yeah. So, current tag team champions are the Dirty Dogs, Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode. Now, I think this will be a triple threat because there's not many tag teams on SmackDown at the moment. They're filling in the role of the heels. I think the Street Profits will be involved. So, I think it will be Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. I called him Bobby before. Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode against the Street Profits, against Ray and Dominic, because why not? Hey, get Ray Mysterio and Dominic on the card. I feel like them winning at WrestleMania and becoming the tag team champions, that's a nice moment for Dominic. It sort of cements him after his not so great performance in um, the Rumble. It, sort of, it gives them this moment on the big stage, father and son, have them win. Yeah, that's my prediction for that. My prediction for the Raw Tag Team Championship is even harder because there's a lot less teams. How can there be less teams on Raw? Oh, so I have gone with, I think the match, I think the Hurt Business are going to lose those belts before WrestleMania because of the infighting going on there. To Retribution. I think the match that it seems to be building it looks like it should be Retribution versus The New Day. When I don't know when Kofi's cleared, but if he's cleared for Mania, that is the match I think will happen. The New Day versus Retribution for the Raw Tag Team Championships. There's an awful lot of talented performers in those teams, so it could be match of the night. However, it probably won't, and it probably won't happen. Because as we learned from the Royal Rumble, I'm terrible at predictions. I got one right. Yeah, that's me. The Intercontinental, I'm kind of cheating with the Intercontinental Championship. Because I think it'll be a multi-man. I think there's going to be a lot of people. Maybe do a ladder match. You've got people like Cesaro, Shinsuke, Daniel Bryan, Otis, Chad Gable, Big E, Apollo Crews. You've got all these people. I feel like they're all sort of brewing. Probably not to take on Roman. I think they're probably going to go for the Intercontinental Championship. And I think it will be a multi-man. I think. That's also my hope. And I also forgot Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's in there as well. So yeah, have a big eight-man ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. That will be perfect. Now, for the United States Championship, this was hard. Because my heart wants to finally see Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think they're going to have Brock challenge for the United States Championship. So that means Bobby either drops it before WrestleMania and they can do Brock versus Bobby. Or Bobby has a different opponent. And I think it's going to be Bobby having a different opponent. And I think his opponent will be Damian Priest. Now, Damian Priest was called up to Raw the other day. Monday. And he made a debut. 
didn't think it was anything special, but he looked badass. He looked good in the Rumble as well. I think the building priest for something and having him beat Bobby Lashley, take the United States Championship from him at WrestleMania could make a new star. And Priest is so talented, he's so cool, he's just a cool guy, he just looks cool, he's got cool music, he's got cool fire behind him. Damien Priest should win the belt. Maybe a Matt Riddle thrown in there as well, but I think it'll be Bobby versus Priest. So for the Raw Women's Championship, I hate this, but Asuka's not holding that until WrestleMania. I can't see how she keeps losing and getting pinned. So I think Charlotte has to take the belt off her before then for the Raw Women's Championship. So I think it'll be Charlotte. Charlotte? Charlotte. Charlotte. Charlotte versus Bliss. Alexa Bliss. Now, they're not going to have sort of Randy versus Alexa. That's all just building to the fiend. I feel like Alexa's going to get a big match at WrestleMania and I think it's going to be against Charlotte, not Asuka. Because we've seen what comes of that. Charlotte versus Alexa with this new supernatural element added in there could make for some interesting stuff. But I feel like that's the route they're going. Either way, she's not holding the belt. Asuka is not holding that belt until WrestleMania. So I think having Charlotte win... As a heel, she needs to be a heel. I don't know what she is at the moment. She's got this whole thing with Lacey Evans. If it's Charlotte versus Lacey Evans, that is the absolute worst. That is the darkest timeline, worst version of reality where it's Alexa, but not it's Lacey Evans. This this match has driven me insane. Alexa Bliss versus Charlotte. There we go. There we go. Let's move on to better things. And the better things is the SmackDown Women's Championship, which is... I think going to be Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. Now, a way they think they do this, considering they're both baby faces at the moment, is similar to what they did with Shinsuke and AJ, without the heel turn at the end. I think they can literally just have a respectful match here. Who is the best? With Bianca hopefully coming out on top. It writes itself. You don't need all the silly stuff with Bailey being thrown in there. Just have Bianca. Sasha, they are the cornerstones of SmackDown. Have them fight, have them determine a winner. You don't need anything else. It writes itself. Now for the WWE Championship. Now, again, I kind of think it'll be Brock versus Drew, Brock Lesnar. However, I'm being more drawn since Raw and watching what happened on Raw, I feel like Keith Lee's gonna factor in somehow because he's been building this whole thing with Drew about not trusting Sheamus. And to just leave Keith Lee out of that entirely would be a disservice. So I feel like maybe a triple threat between Drew, Sheamus and Keith Lee at WrestleMania, excluding Brock, because there's just always an omnipresent Brock that we're just expecting to turn up. I think that triple threat makes the most sense, it's had the most build, and maybe Keith Lee could win. Please. So yeah, that is my prediction for the WWE Championship match. And for the Universal Championship match, I think it's got to be Edge versus Roman Reigns. Now this seems a bit obvious, considering Edge won the Royal Rumble. However, him giving for Drew wouldn't really make a lot of sense. I think he has to have his sights set on Roman. And if we're pushing aside Goldberg, who's always been rumoured to face Roman, Edge seems like the best fit. You know, Spear versus Spear. I would have Roman, Roman win, personally. I just think that makes the most sense. That's the biggest match you could put on the graphic. And maybe it could headline the second night. But yeah. Those are my thoughts and predictions for WrestleMania a few months out. I could be so wrong, I'll watch this video in like two months and be like, what was I on? Why did I think of some of those things? What is, what is going on? They are my thoughts and my ultimately wrong predictions for WrestleMania. 
I hope everyone agrees with me, maybe. If not, let me know who you think will be challenging for the belts at WrestleMania. Support FTTR and give me a subscribe. Give me a subscribe, not the channel, me. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Thank you ever so much.